Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to your new moon in Sagittarius reading. Tonight I'm just going to do your new moon reading and tomorrow I will be back here with your holiday weekend reading. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, please do click the like, share and subscribe button. This is a Virgo channel, but you don't have to be a Virgo to get the messages. You could be a um, Virgo Sun, right? You could be Virgo Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, etc. Okay, so please be mindful that some of the messages you hear may or may not resonate. If you wish to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. All right, Virgo. Hey, everybody in the chat, and thank you. I want to give a shout out to all of the moderators Steve, Melly, Queasy, everybody who's in there, Persephone, Charity, um, Brittany, and I know some of the others haven't been around in a while, but I do wish them well. So thank you, you guys. All right. So I've already put your two cards out. So let's get into this reading. So the first card is the new moon card. A new moon is coming. I'm sorry, a new start is coming. So the new moon falls in Sagittarius on November 23rd. And I believe it's one degree Sagittarius at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time, 5.57 p.m. Eastern. Okay, and this card talks about their is a yes coming your way. This is one of the most auspicious cards in the deck. It's totally positive and suggests something new and exciting is developing in your life right now, Virgo. The situation you're thinking about or the person is blessed and you are on target to achieve your goals. The message from the universe is that you're starting all over again in some way, be that on a new or better course or just feeling more positive about achieving your desired outcome. If you've been feeling stagnant, this card reminds you and the new moon that this that life goes in cycles and you're moving into a new cycle now. This is the time to wipe the slate clean. If the situation you ha currently have in your mind um, has become become toxic, either that will clear up now or something totally new and fresh it's on his way. So it's kind of like a win-win. So attuning to the moon is basically the mantra, I'll see it when I believe it. And other additional meanings for the, the new moon is a new start is on the way. You will soon start to feel more hopeful about getting what you want. Your belief that your dreams can manifest is working well and forget about the past, okay? Um, so this new moon marks the start of the waxing cycle and the midpoint of the dark moon. It's a dark and veiled time when the moon is invisible and a time of rebirth. It's a time that witches do their work, making wishes and laying down intentions for the new cycle, an intensely magical time when it's easier to pierce the veil to other worlds. Now, I love that. I love that so much. Now, as far as this being a new moon in Sagittarius, this card represents luck is on your side. Okay, whatever is coming your way, Virgo, it looks set to put a smile on your face. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of fun after a period of feeling low. The energy is adventurous and even willing to take a few risks, but be careful you don't bet the farm on something here as the wheel of fortune is still spinning. This card is about, and the new moon in Sag, of course, is about exploring life metaphorically by exchanging big ideas with others or just thinking about your own philosophies. Perhaps it's time to change your mind about something important. It can also signal that a trip away is coming up if that's something you're working to achieve. But the overall message of this card is that whatever happens next will be some sort of gift, even if that simply means widening your world view. So attuning to this new moon in Sagittarius, count your blessings, literally, write them down or say them out loud. 
and the additional energies of the new moon in Sagittarius is you need to laugh more, Virgo. This is a wonderful time to start a course of study or teaching. Don't be narrow-minded. Start a week of gratitude practice, for example, via Facebook, a journal, or a blog. Sagittarius is the sign of fun, travel, exploration, and the great comic quest. It's the sign of big ideas. Its energy is expansive, upbeat, lucky, and divine. The new moon in Sagittarius exudes all this, as does the card whenever we come across it here. Nothing is set in stone with Sagittarius and an optimistic energy could attract all manner of good things if you tap into the energy by expecting the best. So that's the beginning of your new moon and Sagittarius energy, but we're going to get into this reading here and do a moon reading so we can see what the energies are playing out during this new moon. Okay, we're going to take a look at what's behind you, what's in front of you, what's ahead of you, what obstacles are going to be placed, and what you will need to do. Okay, so let's get into this, Virgo. What is behind you? What is this place you are coming from? What is behind you? Okay, lovely. So you have the Eight of Swords. So you're coming from this place of coming out of deep insecurities, coming out of having any um, stagnation or negative thinking, that Eight of Swords energy, this is basically like you've left all this now. Any restrictions, any isolation, a feeling of being a self-imposed prisoner. It's like, I feel you're, you're releasing now. You have new hope. Okay, maybe you've escaped something. You have freedom. This is what's behind you, what you're coming out of and into now. You're coming out of that feeling of being trapped or feeling victimized or feeling stuck or feeling as if you couldn't get out of something and now you're it's behind you at this time okay which is very good I love that let's see what's in front of you at this time what is in front of you you're heading towards okay so you have the two of wands I'm sorry the ten of wands excuse me and it was in the reverse so okay letting go of burdens that's what's in front of you this is what the time is now with this new moon energy especially in Sagittarius, dropping the load, the heavy load, no longer carrying any kind of a chip on the shoulder. If you felt like you were carrying that, this is kind of like the end of rock bottom. You're on your way back up. This is like there was some type of complete and painful ending. There was some stress or exhaustion or just a tremendous amount of burdens here. And it feels to me like you're taking a break this is what's before you. you're going to get an opportunity to take a break, especially the holidays are coming. This is all about festivities, having fun, spending time with others. Um, here you are saying no, lightening up and you have like this freedom, which is coming to you. And, and like I was saying, you've released something, you've released maybe a lot of things or person, place or thing. And now like, I feel you will feel light on your feet like a feather, okay, coming towards you. It's almost as if the wind is just going to lift you up and give you a sense of freedom to feel better, okay? And and this, so right now, um, this is the energy. This is the present energy. You may not be feeling it just yet, but you may feel it during that absolute new moon energy where you feel you exhale, you feel like you can breathe, you feel like you're no longer weighted down, okay? All of those burdens that you've been carrying, whether they were mental or physical um, or emotional, will be lifted from you, okay? Now let's see what's ahead for you. What is ahead for you, Virgo? Okay, well, some of you are definitely got a snowstorm coming, I have to say that. Um, so basically with the five of pentacles, there's still a little bit of uncertainty, okay? But that comes with freedom. This is the free energy of not knowing um, what's ahead, but compared to where you were, it's way better. 
right? So f- that feeling of being left out in the cold, um, this is kind of like you've walked out of that wherever you were, the door is shut, now you're out there, you're free, but freedom can be scary too at times because now you've got to figure out where you're going to go, which direction, you. and so I feel like you're going to have a choice, okay? Some of you have left someone out in the cold or some of you have been left out in the cold in a relationship and now you're out there and it's kind of like okay well close that chapter now I'm standing with my compass and I have to figure out which direction I'm gonna go which path I'm gonna go okay and it may feel a little bit cold at times you may not have every single thing you need but you have well everything you want but you have everything you need to thrive is how I feel I just want to get another card here this is a time for you I feel like I just keep hearing somebody has been under extreme pressure for such a long time that getting used to not having that is going to feel alien okay and it might feel a little scary like oh wow I, I've just been uh, so I'm, I just hear somebody saying I've just been under so much pressure for so long that now this is all lifting and now I'm, I'm lifting up into the sky into space and I'm just floating and it's a little uncomfortable because I'm so used to having something to do and but and I'm so happy that I'm free but now it's like oh what do I do with my freedom I'm not used to this I'm not used to having this freedom right somebody's saying that but it's exhilarating at the same time the unknown is kind of the scary part but it, it's exhilarating and you're being asked at this time with this new moon in Sagittarius to explore explore your beliefs explore your philosophies to go out and explore life um, to not uh, to remember that you don't have to be locked down into something anymore you're free now to um, make your decisions and trust your intuition with the two of swords you're free now you're free this is what I see here. No more confusion. No more indecision. No more of that info overload. No more having to compromise. Um, you can decide whether or not you want to. You can choose. This is lovely for you. Okay? You can choose to go have fun. You can, you, it's like a breaking free. And it's just amazing. It, it's I can't even I keep repeating myself so this is what's coming for you are you ready are you ready for your freedom because I I see a lot of you have let go but then you were just probably still standing outside of that house symbolically not literally and it's like okay getting in your car and like I don't I got to figure out which direction do I want to go and you haven't decided yet but now you can now you'll be able to decide okay because some of you it's like you know you're not going back to something you're not repeating past cycles the cycles have changed the season is changing you're moving forward all right let's take a look and see what obstacles are ahead of you what obstacles are ahead of you oh wow you got to come into yourself i hope you guys can see that let me just double check yeah i think you guys can see that coming into self with the empress that's kind of an obstacle for you because i feel like for you it's like well wait who am i what do i want where am i right now and what abundance do i want to acquire okay this is also about creation i mean for some of you i just feel like you've been trapped for such a long time and you're not sure or it's just that you have so many things to explore you don't know where to start I'm, I, <laughs> for some of you um an obstacle might have been a mother figure as well okay and um something to do with a mother figure okay or a mother of a child okay um, for some of you for some of you who have gone through the change of life um, there's a period here now that you're entering into that's quite different and you're facing that and so you have freedom from the way things used to be your cycles are over um, 
And that's for those of you or you could be on the verge of that at this time. And it's like everything is changing for you. But now, I mean, you're free, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you don't have that limitation or restriction on you any longer. Or you maybe you haven't had it for a while and you're still um, just kind of like... I mean, if, if it's been like uh, like a tremendous amount of long time, a long time that you haven't had that cycle in your life, um, I feel like this is kind of settling into yourself, like really settling and knowing your value and your worth, whether you're just recently out of that or whether you are have been out of that for a while. For others who don't have that issue, I do feel like there's this really just getting to know and value yourself because the empress is a card of value it's a card of self-worth it's she's, the empress represents independence the empress represents unlimited resources so my gosh i don't know it's like you it's like you've come out of a dark place and you've landed in Candyland or something and it's just there's so much sweetness and so many good things coming after this new moon energy. So it's a challenge though because it's an obstacle. So for a lot of you it's like gosh now you have I feel like you'll find yourself you've got so many options now you can choose and it's like oh you don't know what to choose you're not sure you want to you know, go and hit every gingerbread house down every gingerbread lane. You know, you, you want to go to every single party. You want to go out and do the things and, and really explore and have fun. And you're going to get all those opportunities to, you know, just do whatever the heck you want. I just see somebody just sit on the couch, even just staying home one night and, and, and eating all the good food and drinking all the good drink. And just, it's like no limit. It feels like no limit you know, and, and it, the freedom of choice is really what this is about here. And that's, that's an obstacle for you because more so, what do I do? What do I choose to do? Um, I ha I don't know if some of you may have felt like you just were so burdened or under so much pressure and you couldn't, um, you're definitely going to have this starting after the 23rd of November. Okay. Um, now let's see, what do you need to do? What does Virgo need to do? Okay. Hmm. All right. Page of Wands in the reverse. So, <laughs> this is a card of immaturity. Virgo, I feel like you need to go play. That is the energy I'm picking up with this card here. Like you need to go play, you need to go have fun. Because I feel like some of you are kind of like, oh, what's that all about? I don't even know. It's been a while. I'm not sure if I can go, like, how do I go play? Some of you need to tap into that child within and just go and enjoy and go and have a really good time and explore and just be irresponsible. <laughs> Because, you know, Virgo, come on, you're the most responsible sign in the Zodiac. I mean, everything's routine, everything like you pay your bills on time, you um, keep up with things, you prioritize. I feel like this new moon and that Sagittarius energy, Sagittarius represents the Knight of Wands here on in Tarot. And I feel like some of you, you, and I'm not saying you need to go out and just sleep around or anything like that, but you need to really get into your passions and passion play. Go play. Go enjoy yourself. Don't get into, don't restrict yourself. Don't restrict your mind. Just say, you know what? But I feel like the wand energy is, is very active, very physical creativity. And for you after the 23rd and going through the holiday season is really, or until the next moon, is really about you um, up until actually December 23rd is to just get festive and go have fun and be merry and uh, socialize with other people and go laugh and be giddy and all that Sagittarius energy, just take charge and, and chase after your passions. I mean, set your intentions for this too. like make that promise to yourself from 
the start of the new moon on November 23rd for a good 30 days, all the way up until December 23rd. No drama, no stress. You're going to go have fun, positive mindset. The minute you start to feel down or you start to feel negative or your thoughts, you can't stop negative thoughts from coming. You can't stop that, but you can redirect them and change and not not react to them right and that's like for the first 30 days we'll we should even do a 30 day maybe i'll start that in my community tab a 30 day positive mindset challenge november 23rd through december 23rd all good letting go of all past stuff all restrictions negative thoughts forgiving just just being in a position of where you know what if you're angry at someone or you're mad at someone or whatever is going on or whatever is happening or you have to deal with people that if you have to deal with them or if you don't just kind of like putting on that Christmas magic spirit or whatever and just saying, you know what, right now we're just going to be jolly, merry, we're going to have fun, we're going to do things, we're going to be in, in the joy and in the love and the happiness and I'm just going to do this for 30 days and everyone that I'm angry at, I'll be angry at them in the new year. But for now, I'm taking a break from all that and all that stress and I'm just being love and I'm living in the sparkles and the magic um, of this new moon all the way up until Christmas, okay? So I feel like these are the best messages for you with this new moon and I can honestly tell you I'm not going to dive any more into this I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible tomorrow I will be back with your I'm going to do your weekend reading tomorrow on the 23rd only because it's Thanksgiving and I'm going to be doing the holiday stuff and I'll be back sometime next week but I am going to upload a recap for you guys um I think I'll upload it on Thursday so you'll have something, just a recap of an old video. Um, and also, yeah, I'll be giving you guys some shorts as well as we go through this holiday, start of this holiday kickoff, okay? So do make sure you follow me on TikTok if you're a TikTok user as I'm trying to increase my growth over there as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope that you set your intentions and if I do that, positive mindset challenge for the 30 days go over to my community tab here on my channel and you can join in on that okay all right you guys have a fantastic evening and day and i will see you all back here tomorrow bye <laughs>